Hey y'all, it's your girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel. You guys already know the drill. If you guys are new, thanks for stopping by. Don't leave here without hitting that subscribe button and hitting that bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys are not new to my channel, welcome back to my channel for another bomb slay tutorial. So yes, you guys, I have my hair out. I'm I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm minding my business. I'm drinking my water. And I hope everybody's summer is going good. So um yes i cut my hair like two months ago with this natural thing i'm still figuring it out i don't like i don't know nothing about being natural but we we slowly you know getting confident in our fro and you know just slowly embracing it if that's the uh, word for it but yes yeah, so i'm rocking my fro with this beautiful head scarf that i've just been having laying around in my little um being that I have all my head parts in and I was really inspired by the colors. The colors are beautiful and I wanted to do a look so I did. It was supposed to be yellow and red with black but it came out yellow and orange and black so we're gonna go with it. It looks good so I hope you guys like the look. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. We're just gonna get straight into this tutorial, tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy this look. Hey y'all welcome back. So the two palettes I'm going to be using are from the Crayon Case, the Box of Crayons palette and the Matte Book palette. So the first shade I'm taking is the red color from the Box of Crayons palette and I'm using that as my first transition shade. Then I'm going to be taking the orange color from the matte book and I'm going to be using that to blend out the red shade. And what you want to do when you're placing these colors down is pat them. You never want to swipe because when you swipe you lose your pigmentation. So make sure you're patting them together. Now I'm taking black from the Box of Crowns palette and I'm gonna be putting that in the outer portions of my eye. Y'all let me know if y'all wanna see more of my natural hair in my videos because you know, your girl been struggling with the confidence in her fro, but we, I decided that I wanted to rock it for this look. And now I'm just taking that red shade again and I'm gonna use it to blend out the black because you never wanna leave the black just sitting there looking hard. So make sure you blend it out. And I'm just taking some more of that red to blend it out and to bring some color back. So I went ahead and cut my crease with my Makeup Revolution Concealer. And now I'm just taking this Myo Makeup Neon Pigment Stack. And I am using the bright um, neon yellow and I'm using the neon orange in this stack. Now initially those are the only two shades that I wanted to use. But not two, but I wanted to use the red instead of the orange. But I made it into a gradient look instead. So I didn't show you guys the red, but I will show you guys the red when I start using the red. So now I'm just packing in the orange. And now you just want to take the brush that you used before and you just want to blend those two lines to get, well, the one line in the middle together so it's not looking choppy. And now I'm taking that red from the same stack and I'm going to put it on the outer portions of my, uh, well, the remaining portion of that um, eye, that eye space. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the black and I'm just making, um, just blending it into the eyeshadow so that it finishes off the eye look, if that makes sense. So I did my liner off the camera per usual. Now I'm just taking these Azerata lashes that I had lying in my lash box. And it's in the style Ultra Glam, really pretty and dramatic. And that's the type of lashes I like to wear. So I went ahead and pop, pop that on. Now I'm using the Rimmel Matte Primer and I'm just putting that all over my face. For my foundation today, I will be mixing together the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation and my shade is in Deep Bronze. And I'll be using the Fenty Foundation as well in the shade 490. 
and it just gives me my perfect shade like both of them are true to my complexion but it gives me this like this glow that I really like and it just gives me so much color so I love mixing those two together and now I'm just taking my beauty blender and I am making sure everything is blended together now I'm taking this Make a Revolution foundation. The concealer and the foundation is the same consistency. I just use the foundation because it comes with more product versus me getting the small container and keep running out. And yeah, so I used the shade F13 and it just gives me the perfect highlight. And I'm just blending that out with my Miss Shop A Beauty Blender. If you guys have not tried those blenders, you are sleeping on them. Make sure you try those blenders out is a dollar and like 50 cents like you cannot beat the price and it's so good so yeah I don't know if I was listening to well I was listening to music I don't know if I was um I'm sorry now <laughs> I'm gonna take my makeup revolution concealer stick or contour stick and I don't know what shade this is but I'll make sure to list it down below in the subscription the, the subscription the description box um I'm just putting it out on the on my house of my cheek and around my forehead and I'm just blending it out with this brush that I got from Miss Shop A but as I was saying before, I don't know if I was listening to music or if I was running my mouth on the phone, y'all. So don't mind me. Now I'm just taking my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I'm using the shade Kenya. That's the shade I've been using for the longest for my contour. It's just the perfect brown color for me you know I'm on the you know on the darker side of the scale so yes I have to have something to really like bring my contour through so that's the shade that I like to use y'all and I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm going to use that to set my highlighted areas I like to do my contour first and then go in my highlighting powder because you know when you I don't want like say if I was to do my highlight before my contour I don't want the contour being up too high so that's why I do the contour first and then do the highlighting because then the it just kind of like mesh together and it blends so well I don't know if that makes sense but I hope that makes sense And I'm taking my Black Radiance Cocoa Kisses Translucent Powder. Y'all, I don't know what was going on. I had picked up so much powder. Like, it doesn't have a sifter, so it just sits in the jar. So I had accidentally picked up too much powder, but that's what I am setting my face with. I did apply blush. I don't know what happened to the clip, but I used the Juvia's Place a and 2 palette. And for my highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter in Hustle and Glow. It's a beautiful gold highlighter. Been using it a lot lately. Y'all should try it out. Yes, and I am setting my, I have set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I know I'm extra as hell with the highlight. I'm taking this another highlighter from this brand that I work with called Glit Cosmetic, and I'm taking the highlighter called Tansy Glow, and I'm just putting it on the apples and my nose. That's the only two places I wanted it because I didn't want to be too beamy, y'all. So I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to kill y'all too much. So now I'm taking my Morphe lip liner in the shade Richie, and I'm gonna line my lips. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame, but yeah, I'm also taking my Mac Velvet Teddy lipstick, a goodie but a goodie but a oh, uh, oldie but goodie, and I'm just gonna use that as my lipstick for this look. Just something neutral. I didn't want to do too much since I already had a lot going on with my eyes. And I'm gonna use a lip gloss from the same company, Glee Cosmetique. And it's in the shade Skinny Dip. I do have a coupon code that you guys could use to save some points. Be sure to check them out and check the, the code out in the description box. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, I'm going to show you guys the scarf that I'm using. Well, I already showed you guys the scarf in the intro, but I'm going to show you guys how I tied the scarf. It's really simple, but yeah, I'm just blending out my foundation into my hairline because you don't want that crisp line there even though you're not gonna see it and i'm just taking this headscarf really really pretty it has so many pretty colors in it bright colors at that so i'm just gonna tie this around my head i got really inspired by the colors in this um in the scarf and that's how i came up with my look and yes i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial as always be sure to comment like and subscribe and everything I use will be listed down in the description box. Please also make sure to follow me on my social media so you guys are keeping up with me. And that is it, you guys. Until then, I will see you guys in my next one.